so welcome to the first video um, that we're going to be doing to run the micro fit which is our Fitbit style um, uh, fitness tracker that we're going to program using our micro bits over the next couple of lessons um, so what do we need to do in order to do this there's a couple of functions that we need to use we will be using the shake function to detect when um, a step has occurred and whenever there is a step, we want to add one to a variable that will change every time that we step. So basically every time that it detects a shake, a variable will go up by one to show that a step has indeed occurred. All right. What we're also going to do is we're going to utilize one of the buttons to show the current step count, just like it would on a normal fitness tracker. When you want to know, you would press a button and it would reveal that step count to you. But we're also going to um, use another button function, maybe the A plus B, to reset the counter so um, you know if a new day starts we can reset um, so that we can start again so what do we need to do first of all we need to set up our variable okay which is where our current steps are stored so what we're going to do is I'm going to get this set item to and I'm going to change item and I'm going to create a new variable I'm going to call this one steps so this is where the number of steps are stored now we've got a spot here where we can put something in and in there we need a number so we're just going to drag a number from the math section and we're just going to slot that into that piece there and we're going to set our steps to zero now I can put that up there and leave it alone because that's going to happen when we first run the program steps will start at zero now we need to be able to display our steps on the screen whenever we press a button so again I'm going to go to the input on button A, we'll say button A, I want to show steps. So how do we show something rather than just a string? Okay, so steps is a number. Okay, what's stored inside steps is a number. So I'm going to go show number. All right. Now I could just show a number. I could pick a number I want to show, but obviously this is something that changes over time and I want to store the current value of steps in there. So I'm going to go back to variables and I'm going to take my steps variable and I'm going to put it into that piece there. I can take that original number and just get rid. So now whenever button A is pressed it's going to show the number that is stored inside steps. So when I press A as you know it should display zero on my screen so I need to run that first and then press A and we'll get our zero number. Now we need to um, change the value of steps whenever there is a shake. So as we know, shaking is an input, and on shake, we are going to change the value of steps. So if we go back to variables, you can see we've got this change item by such an amount. So if I go change item, I don't want item, I want to change steps, and every time it shakes now, we will change steps by one, okay? Now, finally, resetting steps so what we're going to do here is we're going to say on button pressed and I want it to make it really difficult to do that so we go A plus B and then we're going to change steps to zero so what we could do we could set we're not changing steps by an amount are we because we don't know what they are we need to use set steps and again we're going to set it back to zero so I'm just going to simply duplicate that and put it in there now we have our basic working micro fit. Whenever the shake is detected, the steps variable will change by one every time, and we can check our current step progress by pressing button A. And if we want to reset back to zero for testing purposes or because it's a new day, we go A plus B is pressed, we set the steps to zero.